This week in the field, a surprise sunrise and a tripod tip for you. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Davenport and welcome to In The Field. Thanks for joining me today. If this is your first time checking out my channel. Thanks for giving me a shot. I hope you like what you see and subscribe. So um, today it's um, it's a sunrise photo uh, and something actually was a surprising sunrise. But the, the, the learning pit's going to be this thing about the tripod. But uh, to set the stage here, I'd gone out to this spot in Encinitas, a little bit north of San Diego proper. Uh, and the idea was I was going to photograph this stairwell that leads down. It kind of twists around and, you know, spirals downward to the beach. And, um, well, I, I couldn't really get a good framing on it. And as I was, you know, a little bit struggling with it, the sky really started to light up. And so, you know, got down to the beach and, uh, you know, really just set up for, uh, you know, kind of a, a classic sunrise. And uh, let me show you that footage and then I'll tell you about the little tripod tip that uh, I kind of reminded myself of during the shoot. I'm on this small little stairway leading down to the beach. Tide's very high. I'm struggling to, to get some good angles on this. I'll show you what we're looking at here. Get the loom cube lit up here. So, you know, here's the, here's the stairwell. Just leads out to the beach. And I'll take the light away. Got some good color in the sky growing there, but uh, I'm struggling to capture it. I may end up forgetting about the stairwell altogether and just making it about a, you know, an empty seascape looking up or down the north to south faces of the cliffs. Well, skipping the stairwell was certainly a better choice. This is uh, much more pleasing, very simple composition, really making an X. The clouds and the surf coming in from the right-hand side and then the shapes of the land where it meets the base of the ocean there at, uh, coming in from the left. And I got a few beachgoers coming through, which is cool because it gives some scale, although they are moving way too fast. I don't think I'm going to catch them. <laughs> I'm uh, set up here, uh, F16, which I really don't need. I'll probably dial that back to F11. All right, gotten down to beach level now. This guy's got a nice pop going on. Just set myself up at the edge of the surf and uh, playing in between F11 and F13, trying to get about a two to three second drag on the water. Uh, this is working really nice. And right now I'm just got a lull and wait for that surf to come up. It is completely surrounding the tripod when it comes in big. Just gotta wait for it to fade out. And uh, yes, it's a glorious morning. Well, that worked out way better than I had anticipated. Uh, my intention was to get some uh, some more minimal shots, but with a sky like that, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna pass that up. I'm gonna make a little more uh, scouting around this area in Sanitas, because uh, I haven't been up here in a while. And uh, there's a couple of the beaches I know I wanna check out. So I'm in the area, I'm gonna take the opportunity to go uh, do a couple of quick drive-bys, poke my head out the window, and uh, soak things in so I know what uh, what to expect from my next outing. All right, so you saw the bit where I'm in the surf, you know, the waves came up, you know, the, the salt water splashes all over the tripod. Yeah, you know, it's what what happens, and you know, it's uh, it's where you get some interesting shots when you're working at the beach. Uh, but I wanted to get the tripod lower for another set of photos, and I had the first set of leg extensions, you know, extended out. And those had already gotten all, you know, salt water and all wet and so forth. And I was started to touch the twist lock and I was about to put the leg back in to go lower. And I realized, well, that's not a good idea. Uh, it's going to just take all that salt water as well as all the sand that's in the ocean. You know, the waves come through. It's not just water. There's a bunch of sand swirling around there. So instead of shoving them all the way up, I use the, you know, the, um, I don't even know what to call them, but you know, the, uh, the, the leg adjusts at the base where you can kick the legs out farther. So you can bring the entire tripod down lower to the ground as opposed to, you know, collapsing the legs. And so it ended up with a, you know, kind of a pretty wide, broad, tripod uh, you know, space that I was using, but you know, no one else was around. I wasn't going to trip anybody. And that prevented me from having to shove salt water and sand unnecessarily up into my tripod. It let me at least, you know, get home. And the uh, typical ritual for me is hosing down the, the tripod after I've been out at the ocean, you know, in between those da those times when I'm going to do a full cleaning on it. You know, so that's the tip. If, um, if you've had the, the lower parts of your tripod exposed to whatever it is, dust or, or salt or anything like that, and you want to get a lower shot, if you can, you know, just kick the legs out farther as opposed to collapsing them down, and at least until you can get a, uh, a clean cloth and, and wipe down 
the tripod legs. This isn't going to work, uh, you know, endlessly if you're on a multi-day trip or something. But if you're doing a quick shoot, you know, either near your hotel, near your house, wherever wherever it is you happen to be, it's it's a good thing to do. Save yourself um, some unnecessary grit inside your tripod, and it'll last you that much longer. That will do it for this week's in the field. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, let me know somehow. Shares likes comments are great love hearing what's on your mind photographically you got questions hit me up and i usually turn an answer around in a day or two and until next time my name is scott davenport and happy shooting <laughs>